The equation I'm going to show you is really simple but it tricks everyone and it is 4 minus 12 times 4 minus 12. The reason why it is tricky is that because people don't know about the order of operations and they assume that they can subtract here, subtract here, they have multiplication here, so they get minus 8, minus 8, then they multiply and they get 64. But that's of course not correct. Let's think logically why it is not correct. Look, we have 12 times this parenthesis, so we cannot just do 4 minus 12, because this 12 needs to be multiplied with this parenthesis first. We don't know the value of this little equation yet, we firstly need to calculate it and then we only can subtract here. So what I do usually? I try to divide whole equation into smaller equations that are separated with one operation. We start dividing the equation with plus, but we don't have any plus here. Someone might say, but I say we have a plus here. And why? That's simple. We have an addition of a negative term. Look, we have a subtraction, but if really subtraction is just an illusion, we just add a negative term. So we have an addition here. This addition doesn't count because it is in the parentheses. Wait, if you like the explanation so far, please consider subscribing. Thank you. So now we have this as a first term, this as a second term. Pretty simple. Now we just need to add them. We cannot add them just yet because we don't know the value of this term because we can only add values, not whole equations. So here, simple stuff, that is just 4. But here we firstly need to calculate it. To calculate this, we first need to calculate the parentheses and then multiply. That's because minus 12 is being multiplied by this parentheses and we don't know the value yet, so we need to calculate it. So if we do it, we have minus 8 right here. Let's write it in the parentheses. And we have minus 12 times minus 8. So let's quickly evaluate this. Let's do it here. 12 times 8. 12 times 8, it's pretty simple. 8 times 2 gives us 16, so 6 here, we carry in the 1 over here, and we get 96. And also notice that I just multiplied 12 with 8, and not minus 12 with minus 8. And that is just because I know that if we multiply two negative numbers, we get a positive one. So we get 4, and we separated every term with plus, so let's write it here. We get 4 for the first term, we don't even need to calculate anything. Then we have plus, because we separated each term with a plus, and this gives us 96. And okay! And it seems like we're getting such a nice number, exactly 100. And I hope you got this one correctly. And if you want to check your skills with another equation, try to solve this one. Watch the video and try it out. Have a nice day.